All right, let's go through this. Let's make a key and talk about scientific notation. So what's wrong with a number written this way? It is a naked decimal. You never have a decimal. It's just to say a number that's greater than zero but less than one. Never have a naked decimal that doesn't come with a zero in front of the decimal. So it's a missing the leading zero. because it should be written as 0 0.325. This shows that you are intentionally saying it's a number that's less than one and greater than zero, rather than this, which could be just a typo and be missing a number. So this just shows that you're not missing a number, that it's intentional. <clears throat> okay, for this one, if you're gonna write this, write this in standard scientific notation, that means you gotta move the decimal one, two, three, four times in order to turn to 9.8. 145 times 10 to the fourth. So it's asking the exponent indicating the power of 10, which is this right here, is 4. Okay, so let's write these as ordinary decimal numbers. So a negative exponent means it's a very small number, which means you move it two places in the direction that makes it smaller, which means we move it like this way. So it becomes 0 0.0623 zero because 6.230 you move it once you get the decimal here move it twice you get it here with a zero in between the six and the decimal point so that's where that comes from um in terms of this zero at the end in the scientific notation means it needs to be there in the decimal so if you see a trailing zero in the scientific notation it needs to also be there in the decimal number all right, now let's do the same thing here. This is a very small number, so it's 5.01, and you're gonna move it six places in the direction that makes it smaller because it's a negative exponent. So one, two, three, four, five, six places. So it's one, two, three, four, five zeros, and then a five, zero, one. One, two, three, four, five zeros, and then a 501. There's no zero at the end, therefore there's no zero at the end. <clears throat> Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. I would have to move it six places to turn into 5.01, which is why. Yep, we confirm that's correct. So this gets at what I mentioned earlier, that zero at the end. Now times 10 to the third means you move the decimal three places in the direction that makes it bigger. So it makes it bigger by going this way. One, two, three locations to this spot. So 8,621... Point zero. This zero at the end means you got to have a decimal and a zero at the end here. No zero at the end means it's just 8,621. No zero at the end. <clears throat> 4.5 times 10 to the zero, that 10 to the zero means you don't bother moving the decimal, which means it's just 4.5. Negative numbers follow the same rules as positive numbers. Move the decimal three times in the direction that makes it bigger. It's a positive exponent. 4.8300, so move it three times in the direction that makes it bigger. One, two, three times. It's now here, which is 4,830.0. Again, these trailing zeros are there because they're present in the scientific notation. All right, this one. There are multiple, zero, multiple nines here, and you got to move, ooh, ten times. Okay, one, two, three, four nines. And you've got to move it 10 times in the direction that makes it bigger. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times in the direction that makes it bigger. Whoa, what is that? That's a comma there and a comma there and a comma there. That's 99 million, 900, or 99 billion, 990 million. Yeah, that's too, that's a lot. Oops, that's a zero. Yeah, it's pretty big like that. And just to confirm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you move it ten places the other direction, I'd get this number back. So it shows it's correct. All right, negative five, same number, just negative five versus positive five. This means very small number because the negative exponent. This means a very large number because the positive exponent. One, oh, one, six. Move it five times in the direction that makes it smaller. One, two, three, four, five. Zero point 
four zeros, 1016. All right, so that's how that goes. Uh, now for making it bigger, 1016. One, two, three, four, five. So now that's 101,600. Oops, just made that more clearly a zero. Okay, well, that's how that goes. Next, <clears throat> scientific notation is formatted like this. This value, something times 10 to the something, this something times 10 to the something is supposed to be between 1 and 10. So we're going to follow for this one, converting to scientific notation. If we get something not in standard scientific notation, this is greater than 10, that's not okay. Convert it to a regular number, it just means move the decimal four times in the direction that makes it bigger, so that makes it 130,000. And then take that and convert it to a correct number. So this one right here, how many times do we have to move the decimal? One, two, three, four, five, six times. 9.367421 times 10 to the sixth. And it's a positive six because it's a big number. Now if we do this one, 0 0.0007741 times 10 to the negative ninth. Well, okay, what does that mean? That means just move it nine places in the direction that makes it even smaller. So actually, I guess I don't need that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve zeros. And then all that. Zero point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops, sorry. Let me back up a sec. Okay, so that's conventional. I forgot we're gonna put this in scientific notation. So that's okay nine times. So we gotta if we move the decimal nine times, it puts it here, ten times, eleven times, twelve times, thirteen times. So this is seven point seven. For 1 times 10 to the negative 13th. And by the way, a little side thing, you can do that on your calculator. So that's 0 0.1237741 times 10 to the negative 9th. You tell your calculator, it will turn to scientific notation for you. So that's certainly an acceptable way to do it. Here, negative 7,241, 7241, Move the decimal one, two, three times. So it's three times. So negative 7.241 times 10 to the third. By the way, quick little side thing. 7241 is that number. Uh, second function, this button right here. Change to scientific notation. Press enter. And it gives it to me, that same thing as scientific notation with can't forget the negative sign of course and then when done you can just do second function this button change to floating decimal enter and you're good and if i push on and clear at the same time it not only re clears what i just did but it completely clears the memory and returns to all defaults anyway <clears throat> anyway this next one this times 10 to the negative second six three one nine Times 10 to the negative second means moving the decimal here, so that's 63.19. And in scientific notation, we just have to move it once a turn into an error between 1 and 10. 6.319 times 10 to the first. Quick little show here. 6319 times 10 to the negative second equals that. Scientific notation, 6.319 times 10 to the first, as stated. All right, so this one right here, you got to move the decimal one, two, three, four times. So that's 5.510 times 10 to the negative fourth. Uh, yes, the zero at the end, when you have a trailing a decimal and a trailing zero, keep it. All right, here, same thing. Oh, boy, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. 7.215 times 10 to the negative ninth. All right, 5.408 times 10 to the zero, because 10 to the zero is one, so it's just times one. Add that, and you look, you don't have to move the decimal. 
Okay, 0.721 is 7.21 times 10 to the... Okay, you got to move it once to make it into a number between 1 and 10. And it means once, but negative 1 because it's a small number which demands a negative exponent. And then here, oh boy, times 10 to the 6. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 9.7752. That's just the number. And then times 10 to the 0 to have it be scientific notation. Okay, so that's how you do that. By the way, a quick little show here. Point one two three. Let's see how many is that? One two three four five nine seven seven five two times ten to the six. Is that which just comes out to that? All right. Now, if you're gonna do this part. You should hopefully get it to work. Hopefully you do. But um, I, don't know, I suppose I can show just real quick, like for this first one. I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, there we go. Okay. Open parentheses. 1.42. Second function, EE, negative 2. Close parentheses. That's how you do it. Plus, open parentheses. 9 point, oops. 9.61 times 10 to the negative third, close parentheses. By the way, again, I didn't push the times button. It was just 9.61 EE minus three. EE means enter exponent. Anyway, I've got it all. That's the raw answer. It matches what I'm supposed to get. Convert this to scientific notation. That's 2.381 times 10 to the negative second. Or you can have the computer convert for you. 2.381 times 10 to the negative second. So called, there's no zeros at the end because there's no zero at the end in this decimal. Negative exponent because it's a small number less than one. And two because you have to move the decimal twice to turn this into this. All right. So there's that. Just as a quick FYI, this is 5.9148 times 10 to the second. No zero at the end because there's no zero after the decimal here. And... Uh, positive second because it's a big number. This is 1.6344086 times 10 to the third. By the way, eventually we'll talk about how to properly round. For now, you're just writing your raw calculator answers, but eventually we'll talk about how to round these properly. And then uh, this would be negative 6.9736 times 10 to the zero power. All right, that's how it goes.